So, same procedure as last year. No, same procedure as last time. We take the component A, component A, and mix with component B. The only difference is that you don't mix any water into this, okay? You mix the water because you want the epoxy to, or the floor to suck the epoxy down into the floor, okay? This time, no water, just mix component A with component B. And you can hand mix it, but I use this. And two minutes, minimum two. Okay, I'm done. Looks awesome. Let's go. First off, let's use a new brush and paint around the, the, the walls, okay? Let's start with the brush. All right, so peekaboo here, <laughs> standing at the door as you can see, and I have just finished the second layer, and as you can see in the background, it looks just awesome. This will cure for about 10 hours or 12 hours, and I, and I will come back and show you the results, but I think it looks awesome already. Okay guys, I'm very, very excited. I have let the epoxy floor cured for seven days and just took all of the stuff I had outside, inside, okay? So, this is the first time I'm actually going inside with anybody else but me. That's with you guys, okay, let's go. I will light it up here and boom. Oh man, it looks awesome. And I love the color because it's the same color as the walls. And, well, you can still see the, the concrete and, and so, but I'm a happy amateur, so I'm very, very pleased with this. Very, very pleased. Just when I thought I was ready, Hogma Nordic sent me an extra bonus item and this, as you can see here, is actually sand that I'm going to put like wheel tracks on the epoxy floor. So when I go 
inside and outside with cars and such I I don't I don't use the floor as much I, I use this sand with a with a clear coating on it so I will spare the floor a bit okay and this is a bonus thing I'm, I'm super happy about this one so also this is the first time for me so I don't think it's that hard and as always if I can do it you can do it let's go okay I hope you can see this I'm getting a little bit of high tech here to get the lines for the tire tracks the sand tire tracks I use a laser okay so I get the line just perfect okay this is not a must but it helps a lot so if you don't have a laser get one okay as you can see I have taped up the wheel tracks and they're about 4.5 meters long and 40 centimeters in width okay next step is if you do this like I have done and that is I've let the epoxy for cured for seven days you have to grind away to make the the clear coat stick so I'll take some sandpaper and just grind my way here okay I will tell you that it was not the best feeling in the world to grind that away <laughs> from that to this but you do that because you want the clear coat to really stuck stick and the uh, and the sand to really stick okay so the better prep you do the better the better the result and don't forget to vacuum okay now it's time to mix component A with component B this is the clear coat and you take this one and put it in that one okay as simple as that and then you stir it around okay for two minutes when you do wheel track that's that's not a lot of clear coating you need but if you do bigger bigger than me you have to use something else to mix it not with your hand like a, a machine or something for two minutes okay let's go final drops of component A and take whatever you have have I, I use a, a brush and just mix it like this for two minutes okay two minutes minimum I actually forgot myself you definitely need a mask and rubber gloves okay this thing I could feel it kind of burning through my nose and I got some on my hands and and it immediately started irritating my skin. So, mask, rubber gloves. And, I forgot one other thing, the eyes. You can never be too careful. Use a roller and just pour some out and just roll, okay? Nothing fancy. Just do it. And one liter is enough for two tracks. This is the sand, this is the color, it's a dark gray and you want to, to put this on the clear coat when it's wet and just regular sand, okay? 
So use your hands and you should use a lot of sand, okay? You want it to cover really, really good. We are done, we sanded the wheel tracks, now wait for 30 to 60 minutes. I will wait for 60 minutes, never take any chances. As you can see, I've just removed the tape. You can see the lines from the tape and this has cured for 60 minutes. and. This one, I removed the tape uh, and I have vacuum cleaned it and you can, I will show you again, you can tell a little bit of color difference. But it's perfect. Man, this looks awesome. Now it's time to tape it up again, two millimeters, two millimeters from the line, and then you put a, some clear coat on it again. But first, let us vacuum clean this. Okay, as you can see, I have about one or two millimeters of tape from the line. That is because you want a smooth transition of the last and top layer of clear coat. And now it's time for the clear coat on top of this, okay? And as always, don't forget the mask and the gloves and eye protection.